Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start talking about the layout. And what I did here is I laid some tile out and I used some spacers here. And you can see what they look like. I got some spacers. These are spacers that you can use. This is this type of spacer you can use. And then we have these wedges, which look like this. Now these are all spacers you can get at the store and you can decide which one you want to use. Now I just want you to know that I don't ever use a spacer in the side of the tile like this. You're either going to use that spacer like this or you can turn it and put it in there like that. And there's different sizes you can get. These ones are 3 16 there's quarter inch, there's 3 8 there's all sorts of sizes, eighth inch, sixteenth. But anyway, now what we did here is I laid this out and I had my spacer put in here. <clears throat> and what we're trying to do now is come up with a idea of what one tile plus a grout joint equals. And we're really close to about one foot. Now when we're doing the walls, we're a little bit more at the mercy of the spacer. So you, you can't do any adjusting really unless you add some wedge to it, which I could do right here. I could put a wedge in there and extend that tile a little bit farther. And we will use these wedges because tile is not the same size. It's always a little different by a 16th. I've even seen it up to an eighth of an inch different in size. So what you wanna do is get your tile laid out and you can see this is the pattern we're gonna go with we got one we got four tiles and then we're gonna go with a, a band here of glass tile and it's actually gonna have a little bit of slate in it too you can kind of see and then we're gonna switch it up and go after that band we're gonna go right into a brick pattern and that's gonna be about two and a half tiles is what we're going to end up having. So four in the bottom, a band, and then two and a half more because we're going to the ceiling from the tub. It's about six feet, nine inches. Now I'm going to measure up and I like to do a full tile on the bottom. Kind of what we laid out. I laid it out and I seen that if I went four, if I went four tiles up, it would be about somewhere in right here then we've got that band from here and then three or two and a half more tiles so i know that i transferred that measurement out here and i have six foot five and a half inches so i got about a five and a half inch piece on the top well i want to have a smaller piece on the top i'm not going to try to make this even so really what I want to do is I'm going to start in this corner over here. I know I want to put one full tile here. And so I'm going to make a little mark there. And now I'm going to transfer this mark around to make sure that everything is good. And, and that that 12 inch is going to work out all throughout. And so you just take your level, stretch it along. And make your lines make sure that level is level it's kind of hard to see mine's kind of dirty but there we go so I'm gonna make a mark right here and now I'm gonna transfer this mark over to here and make sure it's level and so once I know that it's level then I'll make a mark and I'm gonna make one in the middle and I'll come down to this corner and actually I can go to the top now. The water pipe isn't in the way. So I'm going level from that line now. And you can see I'm level here. So I'm going to make another mark. And now I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to go off this mark down here in the corner. And I'm looking to get it level. And once I do that, I make my mark. 
Okay, so we made our marks here, we transferred it with our level. Now you wanna make sure you take your time in this step because once you're, when you're transferring around your level from wall to wall to another wall, it's easy to go off. So you wanna make sure that you're being very cautious with your level and making sure that bubble is good so that everything else starting from this mark over here on this wall, that first mark is gonna be level from each other. Okay. Just stretching them out from one end to the other. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about this wall right here and what we're going to do with this one is we're going to measure from one end to the other and we're going to see how big that is. And you want to measure it in a few different spots just to see how you're sitting. So I'll go up and I'll measure. And I'll So I'm going to, after measuring, I'm, I'm deciding I'm going to go with the number that was most common and that was 29 inches. And if it's a little different up and down, it's going to be okay. It, if you're a little different on each piece, it's not real critical if you don't go like a half inch difference. It's hard to notice, um, especially on bigger pieces. But what I'm going to do is 58. So 59 divided by 2 is the formula that I'm going to use. And if you go 59 divided by 2, that's 29 and a half inches. So what we're going to do here is measure out 29 and a half inches. And I'll just take my pencil and I'll make a mark at 29 and a half inches. Now, if you take 29 and a half and you subtract that from the tile amount, off your cheat sheet that comes closest to that number without going over it's 24 so 24 minus 29 and a half is five and a half inches so I know that's how big of a piece I'm going to have on each side now another way you could do this is just make a mark at 24 a little knot mark and then you could measure and see how big your piece is going to be then so five and a half inch piece on both sides, I could go with that. Now, if I choose that I want to try a different, uh, a step farther to see if I could get a bigger piece and would I want a bigger piece there, what you're going to do then is you're going to add a half a tile plus the grout joint to this number right here, to this line you made right here, your first line, which is 29 and a half. So you're going to add six and a half or six inches would be mine to this number. And so I'll just take my tape measure and I'll add the six inches and I'll make a little mark there. Now, if I come back across again and I subtract without going over the number that's closest to it, I see that there's the 36 mark, which is one of my numbers, but it's 35 and a half. And so I'm a half inch shy of making the three tiles. So that means I'm gonna have an 11 and a half inch piece on each side. Now the tile is 11 and three quarters. That would mean that I would have to cut a quarter inch off. And it's a little hard to cut a quarter inch off. You can use a wet saw and even with a wet saw it can be kind of difficult, but it's something that you can do. And so we need to just make a decision. What do we want to go with, a bigger tile or a smaller one? Another thing that you can think about is they're not very small pieces, they're close to a half a tile, so it really doesn't look bad when you go with a smaller piece. Plus you have a little smaller piece on this side and this side, it kind of will match it a little bit. So I'm gonna stick with this measurement right here, and now that I know that, I'm gonna bring my level up and I'm gonna level out this line. So this is another area where it's going to be really critical where you're going to want to make sure that you get a nice line here that's level. 
and I just used my L square where it's going to help you quite a bit drawing those two lines and now that I know I'm on I'll just make a mark down here and I'll make one up here and I'll follow that line out and get one more up on top okay so we are so we just snapped our center line here now just to be sure I'm gonna go back over this again and I'm gonna make sure that we got our line square and if it's not square then we can just take a sponge and some water and really just scrub these lines off and come back over them again okay you can see that I'm straight and I'm square so I'm happy with my layout so far and so now from the rest from here on out we're looking pretty good as far as being able to just come up with the rest of our measurements now and now I'll take my pencil and I'll circle that you can see I made my mark there okay okay now you want to make sure once again that you take your square here and check to see if it's square to see if you went off on your line at all make my mark at two feet and then I'm going to circle that and then I'll do the same thing on this side make a mark at two feet and another way that you can use your tape measure so that if this right here is a loose end on your tape is you can just go to the one inch mark or even the two inch it doesn't matter but you need to make sure that you're adding that if you subtract if you start it on another one you're adding it to your measurements so if I want one foot or two feet like I'm doing I could go to the one to make sure I got an absolute perfect measure here and then come over here and you can see it's on the two one okay so we went through we finished snapping the rest of these lines you can kind of see what we did here so we're really sitting in a position here where we're ready to start making some cuts 